Starting back in 1972 with just 13 balloons, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta has since grown to feature over 500 balloons and is now the largest ballooning event in the world. With nearly 1 million visitors per year in attendance, it is the most photographed event on Earth. The nine-day festival runs during the first full week of October every year featuring special shaped balloon rodeos, twilight balloon glows, and vibrant balloon-filled skies. I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And this is our experience during the opening weekend of the 2024 Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Let's go. All right, we're here. Oh, dark 30. <laughs> yes, so we got up at three o'clock this morning. We were on the road by 345, and it is now 5 a.m. No balloons go up until seven. Yes. Mass ascension is at seven, but it is crowded. Yes, you can see behind us, there's already thousands of people here. Uh, we did grab our coffees, but we are gonna be going up in a balloon in two hours. So we're gonna walk around and see what we can do. Uh, there is food options and shopping. Thank you, those look delicious. Oh good. So we are doing our best to hold off getting any food. Yeah, until we came across green chili cheese curds. Look at those, hand dipped. Oh. Everybody that walks by has to talk about it, so let's go try these. And it's still pitch black. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's 5.30 in the morning. All right, so green chili cheese curd, it's hot, it's fresh. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to burn Never myself. had green chili cheese curds no. before. They do come with ranch. Mm. Oh, look at that cheese bowl. Oh. I think it's the batter that has the green chili in it. Okay. And that is so good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we weren't we weren't intending to eat here because we have lots of restaurants we want to yeah. try to eat at, but there's just so many restaurants or so many vendors that you can try to get food from here. This is pretty impressive, Josh. It is. It's I, a Oh, I was talking this. Oh. I mean, the whole thing is pretty impressive, but this is so light and crispy and fresh. You can really taste the freshness in those chilies. Now I gotta try it with some ranch, because why not? Right. Yeah, if you don't like heat, I don't know how things are gonna go for you here in Albuquerque. It's, oh my God, I love this. We've At 5.30 heard that, in the morning. Yeah, green chili or red chili is the biggest question you gotta ask yourself, so. Mm -hmm. Starting with green chili. Thumbs up. so early because today we are doing a bucket list item. We are getting in a hot air balloon with Rainbow Riders and you had to be here to check in at 4.45 a.m. We left the hotel at 3.45 and it took from the time we turned off the interstate to park 35 minutes, I think, um, or close to? I would to. say it was closer to 45 minutes. Okay. It was and then a, there's a walk. And then there's a walk and then trying to get there. But then you check in and you wait. Yes. <laughs> so it's like a hurry up and wait game. Which is nice because the vendors are at least open or starting to open. Right. And there's a drone show in the morning yeah, we're hoping to catch. There's supposed to be a drone show here in like the next five minutes. And that's why we think that all these people are here. Yeah. But and honestly, so we're gates, just getting ready for that. The gates open at 430 every day. I was looking at that. So people come. There's a morning session and an evening session. We're going to do both. Yeah. So we have an evening session planned tonight as well. But we might man, need a nap in the middle of this. We might need a nap, but we also want to find some really good food. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. So right now things are delayed a little bit. It sounds like it's a little bit windy, but yeah. we are walking to our balloon. The sun is coming up right behind us. All right, so we are under a yellow flag because of wind. There's still gonna be some opening festivities, but you said when they let you go, it's gonna go fast. We got 10 people. This is the basket that we'll be in. It should be exciting.
Rachel's got one of the most important jobs. She's gonna be running the fan because it looks like we're starting to pull it out. Flag is still yellow, but we're hoping it's gonna be changing soon. All right, we're in the basket. We're in the basket. And now we're just waiting for the clearance. There's other people that have already taken off. You can see off in the distance. And I got um, to be the uh, fan girl. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so exciting. So she could have turned it off if we needed to. <laughs> but now we're just waiting for our turn. Very excited. They're cutting us loose. <laughs> that was a little bit of a Oh my turn. gosh. I think we're I think starting we're in to move. The air. All right, we'll see you on the other side. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. We landed. That was so fucking cool. That was sorry. That was so effing cool. So fucking cool. <laughs> that was um, so cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know what more to say. Like it, it was so peaceful. Yeah. And like smooth. I was really nervous that yeah. it was gonna there was gonna be so much time to think about falling and stuff. But like, it's yeah. the most smooth thing you've ever done. It's so stable. Yeah. Love it. Um, it was expensive. It was very expensive. Yeah, it was like 550 a person. So worth it. And a lot Super of hurry up it. and wait. Still worth it. Yeah. Um, there you go. If, if you can do it, do it. Yeah. There's about 500 balloons that apparently come to Albuquerque. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, it was what was so cool is we get really high. I think we were like 1,800 feet off the ground. Yeah. And then we'd be like three feet off the ground. Talking, talking, to, talking, to, talking people to people in people. their backyards. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Yeah. And there's just still so many coming. So right yeah. now we're letting ours down, you can see. And then I guess we'll take a ride back and go get some breakfast. <laughs> and we got some champagne. So one thing that's really cool and I definitely didn't realize is that people just land where they can land. And we had seen some X's on like in people's yards and driveways. And our driver basically said that if that if you land there, usually you can expect like some food and drink because those people are just like welcoming people to land there and party. Oh, and yeah, there's champagne. So we're on our third glass before breakfast. <laughs> All right, and just like that, it is 10.15. 
been up for seven hours, did a, <laughs> bu a bucket list item. And I'm not kidding you. If you don't have this on your bucket list, you should put it on your bucket list. It's so cool. It was so cool. But now we're ready for some food. Oh, I'm so hungry. I will say too, so far, from what we understand, you do need to make a full day of the hot air balloon fiesta. See the ascension in the morning, unless you're going to ride in a hot air balloon, which you should do, and then come <laughs> back for the night show. Well, I mean, we say we that hope. we haven't done the night show yet, but yeah. you're going to see that later. Yeah. It's uh, coming. To see whether you think that it's worth it or not. Now, they do have a lot of family-friendly things to do and lots of food vendors that are still open. But since we're coming back tonight, we are deciding to go eat off premises. All right, so for lunch, we decided to go a little bit different. Yeah, it was kind of a unique experience. Yeah, and so we went inside this pharmacy, which is actually <laughs> Duran's Pharmacy. It's been around yeah. since 1942. There is a diner in there, and diner? it is dynamite. It is dynamite. We actually sat at the counter, enjoyed it, great service. The only downfall I could say is no refills on stuff, and I think it's just because she was busy. Yeah, <laughs> um, but the thing to get, I think, for sure is the handmade, hand-rolled tortillas which is more like a flatbread it was so good yeah we actually got some extras of that just with butter on it uh, I ended up with a green chili burger which had tons of green chilies on it yeah and I had the combination plate taco enchilada and tamale all of them great my enchilada and tamale were smothered in green chili it was fantastic and we enjoyed it so much we added a cheese, cheese enchilada. enchilada with red chili yeah. so we had some <laughs> green and red chili check it out it was great Oh man. We needed that. We did. We are refreshed. We got to the room, took a nap, took a shower. 3 a.m. is way too early, especially when we didn't get until late. And is it really a nap when it's three hours? I think yes. it was, but yes. it, it was much needed. But yeah, we're headed back to the park because we got Gondola Club tonight. That's right. Let's go. So we were at the gondola club for a little bit. Yeah, about uh, an hour, I would say. Yeah, we did grab some food. They do have like a buffet style of some chicken, some pulled pork. It's not like food that I was thinking of for Albuquerque. No. So if you're going for like a Southwest, you're not really yeah, you're getting not it. Getting, I mean, I do get chips and salsa. But. <laughs> yeah, and they have ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, we're gonna so probably cool. grab another one of those. And then we did get one drink. We, we do get three drinks here. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably have a couple more. The view should be good if they're able to do the evening glow, yeah, which so. is called what? <laughs> Twilight <laughs> Twinkle Glow or Twilight something Twilight like Twinkle Glow. <laughs> and then we started walking over to see, you know, maybe if there was just more stuff going on. And there is, except for it's massive amounts of people. Like there's so many people, yeah. it's crazy. Now, how much was the Gondola Club? Gondola Club was 130 per person. Now that includes the drinks, the food, the parking, and there's like this nice little golf cart shuttle that'll take you all around the right. park and to your car and back. And there's even a merchandise shop that is like specific to that area. Yeah. Oh. So value-wise, I think it seems very worth it. And we got gifts. So we got, um, yeah, nice little <laughs> bag full of stuff. Yeah. We got two pins and two ornaments. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit so they can blow up the balloons tonight. Yeah, I want to see this little glow thing because they didn't get to do it this morning. So I would say too, if you're planning on attending, if you're not going to do one of their upsell pieces, I think there's like three different options. Do be prepared that you'll be sitting on the ground. So yeah. grass, so bring a chair, a blanket, something of that sort. And you can bring drinks Let's, and yeah, food. Yeah, coolers. They Chairs. do go through inspection, but seems pretty simple. Yeah. But in the gondola club, there's also live music. So we're probably gonna go listen to some live music, grab a couple beers. Yep. Would like to really discuss balloons or ballooning. Not all the pilots are, are, are using, utilizing their burners right now. Go up and talk to them. And, and kids, training cards are everywhere now. So uh, now's a great time to go up and get uh, training cards. So we're gonna start with what is an all burn.
It's got marks number 40 of 51 for me for states, so I'm pretty excited about today. 10K done. Yes, we're not here just for balloons, but right. we got to do all the balloon stuff yesterday, run today. And now drive home. <laughs> yes. But I got Pringles and Cuties. And we and got a really cool medal. There's supposed to be a breakfast burrito too, but we're, we're also gonna go get breakfast burritos, I believe. Yes, and Josh PR his 10K today. There we go, PR'd winner. PR'd. All right, final meal just happened. We were at Central Grill and Coffee House, and it was freaking amazing. The line oh, was out so the door, good. though. Oh. About a 45 minute wait, but it was so worth it. Uh, we ended up ordering a chili relleno plate, which was a special, a beef enchilada with Christmas. Yeah. Actually, everything we did Christmas. Yeah, two beef enchiladas were Yes. Mm -hmm. But so Christmas is when you get red chili on half, green chili on half, and we also got the carne adobado. I think that's how you pronounce it, and yeah. that is the most it's tender like pork ever. Stewed pork meat, <clears throat> delicious. Yeah. In All addition, right. they actually brought us a plate of I wouldn't call it like bananas, Foster French yeah. toast. It was freaking delicious. They said it was because of the long wait. I don't know. I. It was delicious. It was I'm so, so glad good. we had it. Me too. Check out this place if you're looking for a good <laughs> breakfast brunch spot when you're in Albuquerque. <laughs> Slick transition. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and just like that, our time is up here in Albuquerque. It's been a fast and furious trip. Yeah. So we want to give you a few takeaways. Number one, go to the Balloon Festival. Absolutely. You should make it um, on part of your bucket list. It's it's worth seeing. It was amazing. Yes. And I, and I think that it was also, a, for us, it meant a lot to be a part of a greater balloon event. Yeah. Um, I'm sure going up in a balloon by yourself would be great. This just seemed like you were a part of a big collection. Yeah, it was very <laughs> impressive. With that being said, is you do have to be prepared for either yes. delays or cancellations or moving things. We got lucky, uh, and I have to say that we got really lucky on the first day. Yeah, we really had one shot to get the balloon to yep. work for us. Um, we were able to get to see some of the balloons blow up at night and do the glow yep. part, and that was good. It wasn't as good as the morning, clearly. Yeah. It, you know, for us, it was definitely more important that we got to go up in the air. Um, another big takeaway is the traffic. As far as traffic in Albuquerque goes, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. And we do recommend that you get a car because everything is very spread out. Yeah. But when you're talking about going to the balloon park, you definitely want to be prepared, plan ahead. Um, you're going to probably spend a solid hour in traffic, getting in, getting out almost. Absolutely. And by be prepared. I have been watching videos on this for the last couple of weeks and I still was blown away on Saturday morning when we made it there. It was a long wait. Yes. Yeah. And then the other thing, when you are eating here in Albuquerque, be prepared to say red or green. Or both. Get some chili. That's right. And yeah, like our last meal, we, we got both on everything we could. Yeah, absolutely delicious. All right. On that note, we got to hit the road. If you enjoyed our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are below. Peace.